A battery crafted from a new man-made diamond could last for more than 5,000 years. According to new research, scientists created the radioactive diamond batteries by converting nuclear waste. The batteries would be ideal for powering equipment that needs to run reliably for a long time, including pacemakers, drones, satellites and spacecraft. They say the breakthrough could simultaneously help to this solve the problems of nuclear waste, clean electricity generation and battery life, say the researchers. Unlike the majority of electricity generation technologies which use energy to move a magnet through a coil of wire to generate a current, the man-made diamond produces a charge simply by being placed in close proximity to a radioactive source. There are no moving parts involved, no emissions generated and no maintenance required. Just direct electricity generation, said Tom Scott, professor in materials in the University of Bristol's Interface Analysis Center. By encapsulating radioactive material inside diamonds, we turn a long-term problem of nuclear waste into a nuclear-powered battery and a long-term supply of clean energy. The researchers created a prototype diamond battery using radioactive isotope nickel-63 as a radiation source. They are now working on improving the efficiency of the device. To do this, they are using carbon-14, a radioactive version of carbon, which is generated in graphite blocks used to moderate the reaction in nuclear power plants. The carbon 14 is concentrated at the surface of these blocks, making it possible to process it to remove the majority of the radioactive material. The extracted carbon-14 is then incorporated into a diamond to produce a nuclear-powered battery. Because the radioactive diamond source is encased safely within a layer of non-radioactive diamond, the hardest known substance, it would be theoretically safe to use, say the researchers. Carbon-14 was chosen as a source material because it emits a short-range radiation, which is quickly absorbed by any solid material, explained Dr. Neil Fox from the university's School of Chemistry. This would make it dangerous to ingest or touch with your naked skin, but safely held within diamond, no short-range radiation can escape. In fact, diamond is the hardest substance known to man. There is literally nothing we could use that could offer more protection. When compared to current battery technologies, the diamond batteries have a relatively low power level. However, their long life means that they could revolutionize the powering of devices over long time scales. While the actual amount of carbon-14 in each battery has yet to be decided, one battery containing 1G of carbon-14 would deliver 15 joules per day, say the researchers. This is less than a standard alkaline AA battery. These are designed for relatively short-term use with an energy storage rating of 700 joules per gram. If operated continuously, this would run out in 24 hours. Carbon-14 has a half-life, the time it takes for its radioactivity to fade to half its initial potency of 5,730 years. This means a battery built in 2016 could run on full power until the year 7746. The device would continue to lose power following the radioactive decay rate, Professor Scott told Mail Online. Hence, after 5,730 years, the device would reach 50% power. After 11,000 years it would reach 25% power and so on. The battery would still run on low power after 5,730 years, though whether the current would be strong enough to keep the object in question running, whether that's a satellite or spacecraft, would depend on the power requirements of that particular device. We envision these batteries to be used in situations where it is not feasible to charge or replace conventional batteries, said Professor Scott. Obvious applications would be in low power electrical devices where long life of the energy sources needed, such as pacemakers, satellites, high-altitude drones or even spacecraft. The researchers are asking the public to tweet suggestions of how the technology could be used with the hashtag Diamond Battery. The researchers have been awarded funding to develop the project over the next three years.